Welcome back. I'm Heather and this is my YouTube channel where I talk about all things people at work, talent, business, psychology, people analytics. If you watched last week, I explained what is industrial organizational psychology. I'll put a link in the card above and in the description below. But basically I described what it is that I got my master's degree in. So it makes a lot of sense that in this video I go into the topic of what I got my PhD in. So today I want to explain what is human capital management. Human capital is defined as the stock of competencies, knowledge, skills, personal and social attributes, even things like personality and cre creativity that are possessed within an individual or individuals that can be defined in terms of their value or cost to either an organization or a society. So think about it as all the good stuff that's inside people that's hard to describe, but that we know creates amazing value and outputs for organizations. That is human capital. The concept of human capital probably kicked off as early as the 1700s when Adam Smith published his Wealth of Nations paper. In that, he spent some time going into the wage differentials that different people make by taking on different types of employment. And it was really one of the first times that people laid out clearly this notion that different work holds different value in terms of what it can create and do. Fast forward to the 1900s, Frederick Taylor had some goals around scientific management principles in which he was really looking to assert that there is a science around the way that we manage people and work and basically the notion of human capital in as much that different processes and the management of those can create greater outputs and value for the organization. So you blend these concepts together and you're basically talking about the internal attributes that a person has, how they create value for the organization, and how they can be managed within the organization to create more value or minimize costs. I think one of the first really known direct applications of human capital management was actually with General Electric, the company I currently work for, in the 1950s. They created this employee relations index. And it was a measure of the human capital in relation to how it affected plant productivity and profitability. So that was a really amazing process for assessing human capital and directly linking it to value and cost for the organization. And this notion of linking human capital to cost and value for the organization is huge. When you think about how most organizations are run, the majority of their assets or costs don't exist solely in hard, tangible things like inventory or buildings or products. A lot of times they exist within the people themselves, within the knowledge and the output of employees. But historically, you've rarely seen this on the balance sheet of an organization. It's usually hidden in a whole chunk of intangible assets. The International Organization for Standardization put out new guidelines in November of 2018, all on the area of human capital. They're called the Guidelines for External and Internal Human Capital Reporting. And while things like standardizations and guidelines might seem a little boring, I actually think this is one of the most exciting things happening in human capital right now. It means that organizations will have a standard way to measure, compare, and value one of their biggest, most important assets, which is in the employees, and not just the employees, but their knowledge, their skills, all those things that come with it. It means the opportunity to tie ROI back to things like development, career, engagement, and so much about the world of work and the things that we care about for those of us who are really excited for talent management. If I were to summarize it, human capital is about the good stuff inside of people and employees' brains that can contribute value. And human capital management is the effort and work we put into creating more value out of those people. So there you go. I just summed up my entire PhD in a 10 second sound bite. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am going to put up a little link for you to be able to subscribe. If you want to be notified when I kick out my next video, hit the little bell button. I hope to see you again next week. Cheers.